My friend stole my Minecraft world. Well, not exactly. You see, a few months ago, I posted a tour of this world on my YouTube channel. And since then, I've become a little preoccupied with my YouTube survival series, leaving not much time to work with this world. So naturally, while I went away, my friend kept playing. And here are a few of the changes he's made to the world since I posted that initial video. For starters, he created this tall and simple watchtower. You know, we love our towers here. Oh, <laughs> You know, we love our towers here. I mean, this one is pretty simple. You walk up in it. There's a little bit of a hole torn in the side. I don't know why. You walk up over here and pass up the awkward staircase to a lot of different uh, chambers that seem to be unfinished. And then you come up top to see semi-obstructed views of our current world and the current village. Good build on his end. Uh, only th The only thing I would have done personally is change these out with trap doors, but... A good build nonetheless. Next up, we have this lovely factory that he built. I can never tell if he uh, builds these off of a tutorial or not. He did explain to me that some of them were tutorials and others were just kind of winging it. But here you can see he's got his lovely uh, factory floor. If you come upstairs through here, he's got another factory floor. <laughs> and then if you come upstairs through here, he's got the loading bays. Which, interestingly enough, I don't know why he would put the loading bays this high up in the air as you can see out here he's got a shipyard um loading yard stuff like that and a big door on this side i think this one might have been a tutorial build i'm not sure i'll have to confirm with him coming up a small but simple build is this bridge we've got a kind of degraded degraded degradated we've got a kind of degradated uh build um, that you can kind of parkour your way across over this little bay area and get a decent view of our skyline. That bridge leads over to this little fisherman's hut that he built off of a tutorial. You can tell most of them are tutorials if he has an interior finished and if he's got, you know, things that he normally doesn't do because we all saw his old builds coming through the woods. We've got a lovely little barn. I think this was another quick tutorial that he followed. I don't have the sources for these. So again, I'm sorry. I will try and track them down for you, but beautiful little build right here. Uh, definitely a one up to the builds he used to build in this world. And I think, you know, you can see compared to his train station <laughs> over here, we've got a lovely little bridge into another tower. We love our towers. Uh, this bridge was fully freehand, you know, just a nice little bridge over over a bay in the island i guess <laughs> uh coming up into this little tower actually you know what let's get a good view of it i think this one this one deserves a full-on view he's got some redstone lamps up there a nice tall roof uh and just lovely things all around lots of details but not too busy if you know what i mean now and here we have well a normal way to get up uh, not too much, but I think he's been designing buildings with Elytra in mind, seeing as though he has them. Because he was the friend who, after I stopped playing, kept playing, and now he's basically beat the game. So, okay, up here, yeah, no, no Elytra friendliness outside of, I guess you could come up here and jump. I don't have any Elytra on because, well... I haven't played this world in a while and I have it in creative. This is a copy of my realm. Remember that coming right here. We've got a lovely little windmill. What Minecraft world is complete without one of them. I believe that there is a secret room in this one. If you come through here, okay. Or don't get caught up by the windmill arms. If you come through here, you can see a lovely little entrance, uh, furnished, decorated, everything you need. And if you come up over, you got bedroom, enchantment table, some access to outside, and just a tall, empty space. Now, if I can remember correctly, I think the... Oh. Uh, wait. Might be getting turned around. Oh, it was a different one. There's no secret room there. Now, coming back into an older part of the village, we've got a lovely little uh, upgrade to our sugarcane farm where he still hasn't updated. Oh, it's a bamboo farm now where he still hasn't updated the outside, but I love the look of this. It looks like uh, Dallas Med's uh, kind of style of building. So 
beautiful build right there nice little barn a good update to current builds in the village making our way over here we'll cross this new bridge over this new bay that he fleshed out into these houses right here now these houses are i think from tutorials uh but they look awesome nonetheless we've got our lovely little mud floor and furnace room over here followed by a great room with a chandelier and an upstairs over here okay let me <laughs> let me just walk up here real quick ah lovely and then out here we've got a lovely little balcony seems like he's missing a uh oh nope he's missing a lantern <laughs> he's missing a lantern and you come out here we've got a little tower i guess he didn't finish up here but that's all right it's an attic who cares and this house is the one with the uh oh this is the one with the secret room now i think you gotta what the oh there we go ah you crawl through there come in here and you got a little secret room with a little tower some storage for your goodies and that's about it now getting out of here he said is tricky but well i guess it's because he's on controller moving over to this behemoth of a building uh <laughs> i think this is an inn he definitely followed a tutorial from this one from what i say or from what i heard sorry and i mean he has yet to finish the inside but it's looking good so far i think he's got a lovely great room a little kitchen uh restaurant area and then if you come up here you can see that he has amazing space <laughs> i don't know why i'm going that crazy for it but a little balcony out here that leads over to the guest rooms back in here with some i think each of these have balconies oh nope that's just a prison cell <laughs> ah yes this one has a balcony and then oh wow yeah so if you get that room you just you're, you're just not having a good time <laughs> and then if you come up here to the upside the upside upstairs then you've got a lovely little attic area and i think this is supposed to be the great room or something um not sure Ooh, what's this a little staircase up here i don't really remember this i haven't had the chance to look at this oh okay so not much but a lovely little view out into the village and surrounding areas now over here we've got a lovely little windmill uh well not a windmill this is the elytra tower you can tell his entrance isn't fully complete but if you run down in here, it's your standard, well, tower. Yeah, <laughs> you got a corkscrew staircase, which I'm in creative here. So I can just go on up. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh. And you got lovely elytra pads to launch off in any of the four directions that you want. Moving down towards the cathedral, which we did see last time. And you can see I've made absolutely no progress on the castle keep. Woo, that was a lot. We have this little tavern. Uh... This, I think, is one of my favorite interiors in the new builds that he's added. And I think it is his favorite as well. If you come in here, we'll enter through this outside tavern. You got tower, tavern, tavern, ta tower, dang. <laughs> if you come through here, you've got a lovely little tower. I think it's not really lovely, but a nice little tower that you can see. Oh, got a note block. Got to hit that. Got a double chest, you know, just some storage, just some amenities out here nice covered bridge overlooking the cherry trees in our houses uh let's see in here you've got harry potter's bedroom <laughs> over here you've got another bedroom a lot bigger a lot better and i just realized there's no glass right here but i think he did that on purpose now coming out here you have another bedroom <laughs> oh and now i'm squished thank you and then walking up here, you've got a lovely little attic area. Okay, these stairs are a little wonky, but, you know, Minecraft does come at a price. And here is the only chest that has been made in... Or the only ender chest that has been made in this world. Coming through here, you've got more attic, a lovely little bed. See? Oh, almost like a little apartment up here, you know? Very good spaces to live. And then if you want to get down really quick, I just go ahead and use the floor. See, look at that. Boop. Now, remember, this was all completed in survival. Uh, I just downloaded a copy of my realm and 
added you know creative to it so that i could show you guys around quickly now here you have a little exit into a secret tunnel you've got lovely tavern setting here with uh smoked meat up there and a bunch of chairs coming down our old main street we've got some updates here you can see i put my back to beta days house in uh instead of my old house you know it's kind of ugly uh and so on and so forth over here we've got a silo that doubles as farm storage because we have just so much farm stuff it's ridiculous coming around here we've updated our storage building and consolidated a lot of things here we have extra room for additional storage that we'll definitely need in the future if you walk through my friend's newly upgraded house you come down into the basement you can see that he has more than just one storage room if you come down over here we've got a lovely forge for both of us to use uh almost kind of eh, not finished <laughs> but coming up from the basement you've got our usual grand central station tunnels and the secret passages that he's added now most of you will remember this map and it clearly hasn't been updated uh, but we've got this lovely little area where i think okay you can't walk through this side but you can walk through here and down here we've got some expanded uh armor rooms and trims and stuff like that for his storage because i mean again he just has everything in the game now come down here you can see it's the same archery center that he had last time nothing to note here looking out in this area you've got his farm with a huge tunnel i mean look at that thing <laughs> that goes all the way out i don't know why he dug it but he's got his cows and i guess that's what matters and here is his own personal sugarcane farm which i don't know why he'd ever need that much sugarcane here you have a lovely little geode that he found and through here he's got a uh a three by three door oh there we go into another storage because remember late game minecraft is just finding storage solutions but anyway that should do it for about all of the updates in the village so far i know it's a shorter video i haven't been playing much on here but if we have more updates, I will give you periodic updates. Remember, this is the Minecraft two-phase or two-week phase world. So it comes and goes when we decide to play on it. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed the update. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with random streams in between. Until next time, I'm Beanin. Peace.